I really was a lot more negative and, and angry and everything else a few years ago, but that was that had a lot to do with um, not having not having a mate, you know, not having a, a steady girlfriend and stuff like that. So, I, you know, that was one of the main things that was what was bothering me that I wouldn't admit at the time. You know, so now that I've found that, it's, you know, the world seems a this lot. This is what better. I wrote. Okay, laugh it off. <laughs> <laughs> laugh it off. <laughs> laugh it off. This is not fun, fancy, is it? Just laugh it off. Skoda Felicia pickup. Look at this thing. This is a Skoda Felicia pickup truck that I bought for a couple hundred euros to move dirty things from one place to the other. This was a dirty car <laughs> driven by dirty people. <laughs> Who couldn't care less about its cleanliness but this is not how I treat my cars so one of the first things I did to it was to clean the whole interior as good as I could with the help of my girlfriend that's you if anybody's watching from the UK this is basically a Mark II Volkswagen Caddy with a dif with different badging many great things come out of come out alongside of this uh, no, many great things came out alongside of this car in 2001. The first Jack and Daxter game. That's awesome. Okay, I hope they're gonna make an HD remake of it. Diablo 2, Metal, <laughs> Diablo 2, Metal Gear Solid, Sons of Liberty. That's my favorite of them all. Look, I, I know it doesn't sound or look like much compared to the masterpieces that I just listed but I really want to I need to give this a little pick up your credit because it's really good at doing what it was made to do the same doesn't go for you Metal Gear Solid 2 Raiden I wrote that because everybody seems to hate Raiden for some reason I don't know why you were supposed to do better you can get one of these easily over here if you spend your couple of beans on purchasing it you get a sizable bed in the back side, an engine that doesn't like to rev in the front, and possibly the blandest interior in automotive history. Do you agree with me? <laughs> Do you agree with me, Spiti? I I like what you wrote. I like what you wrote of the other ones as well. Okay, but I, I don't remember writing. Okay, seriously, heavy modifications barely make a difference to how it looks in here, but. Of course, almost nobody ever bought this car for uh, for its looks, so I'm giving it a hard time for the wrong reasons. What I should be scolding it for is the issue with the rust that it has. These things get rusty over time. I'm lucky mine doesn't have it so bad. At the end of the day though, it's a simple car with simple issues, which can always be fixed with very little money. It does its job well, it doesn't really look half bad on the outside. And those are pretty much the reasons why I own one. That's a stupid ending, I don't like this ending, stop it.